Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nathan here with World Masters. Thanks so much for stopping by and in the title, yes, we got a new product. This is a little uh, heart rate monitor. Also can measure how well you breathe or how effectively you can breathe by the SpO2 levels. Uh, a normal uh, percentage for adults is around 96%. So if it's like higher than that, then you may have some issues or if it's lower than that. So uh, this device itself is real simple. So let me show you how that works. Get you guys up close here. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. So all you have to do is there's actually no power switch. There's a button right here, but you don't have to worry about the button. Just place your finger on there, and automatically the device will turn on. And within a few seconds, it starts to measure your SpO2 levels and your heart rate monitor, or your heart rate. I also like the fact that it beeps at you, but you can turn that off via the app. And one nice thing is in real time, so these numbers do change accordingly. And once you take it off your finger, the unit will automatically uh, shut off after a few seconds. This is the company, and this is uh, the brand. It's called uh, OxySpot. It's a pretty simple device, comes in this tiny little box. But basically, everything is included. Gets you two AAA batteries, gives you a nice little uh, carrying pouch, a uh, lanyard, and a one-year warranty card, so that's nice. And it gives you a little uh, quick start guide and the actual instruction manual. Alright, so you're probably all familiar with like beats per minute or heart rate. When you go to the gym, there's like a lot of devices that can measure your heart rate, but there's not a lot of devices that can measure SpO2. Only a few devices out there are designed to do that. So basically, let's go over what SpO2 is and why it's important. So I did uh, pull up this article and basically, SpO2 can be broken down into the following components. S indicates saturation. P indicates pulse. Also, SP stands for the similar pressure and oxygen level. So basically, it act or it determines how well a person is breathing. Uh, usually, around 96% in adults is the normal. Anything above that or below that is considered abnormal. Okay, let's go and uh, figure out what this device does and how it works. This is the SpO2 device measures both oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Two different frequencies are used to measure these two different types of blood: red and infrared. The, this method is called spectrophotometry. I do apologize if I'm botching that. The red frequency is used to measure desaturated hemoglobin, while the infrared frequency is used to measure oxygenated blood. If the greatest absorption is shown in the infrared band, this indicates high saturation. Conversely, if the greatest absorption in the, is in the red band, this indicates low saturation. So what it does is takes the infrared technology and the red and it kind of creates an average to get you an overall number. So here's that uh, graph here that basically shows you um, the saturation. So basically 97% or close to that is normal. Anything below that is danger and 80% saturation is a severe hypsophysia. Okay, so the app is actually pretty simple to use. All you have to do is just search VI Health in either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. There's no account login you have to do. You just basically launch the app and once it's established with Bluetooth, let me show you how that works. So we'll go to the VI Health app, and you can see that my dashboard is blank, but once I place the unit on the finger, it will power up. And within a few seconds, it's going to start showing my uh, health reading, the SpO2 levels, and also my uh, heart rate. As you can see, I'm at 97%, so I'm in within the range, and also I'm at about 74 resting heart rate. I haven't been moving a lot for this filming, but that's basically my uh, resting heart rate. And once it's done, all you do is just take it off your finger, and within a few seconds, the app will save that entry. And you can see, saving successfully, you can view the data in the history page. So let's go and check out history, and there we go. We got entries. So I've been doing uh, three other entries, and you can see my statistics. So once I jump into it, you can see the little graph over time, and my uh, heart rate as well. And there's some information up top. So it's actually a pretty nice, clean interface. It's a very simple unit. Um, there's nothing really to it. There's not a lot of frills or thrills to it. But it just basically does what it's supposed to do. And there's some information about other devices. And you can pair up other devices to the company. Alright, so thanks so much for watching. This is a real simple unit. Um, someone that's not really tech savvy, but they just want to focus on getting their heart rate or their SpO2 levels. Well, this device can't be beat. It's super cheap and also it does work. I did do a comparison with the Apple Watch and the numbers were actually almost the exact same. So I do think that this device does work and for the price, I don't think you can go wrong if you're looking for those uh, two features. 
Alright, so thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.